So it's, it's interesting to ask yourself which of these you're more comfortable with. Is it that when somebody crosses you, you're one of these people that just says, that's it, you're dead to me? Or are you the other extreme where it doesn't seem to matter how many times you get hurt, you just keep trying harder, or you just keep coming back and doing the same things? Those are the two extremes. And usually those don't capture fully the truth of you or your experience. So there are gradations in between those two extremes. It doesn't have to be put up with it completely or leave completely, right? The, this is where boundaries come in. This is where um, there's many different um, points on this spectrum. So on, on the distancing side, say, where on one extreme it's never talk to this person ever again. There's also don't go over as much or when you go over there, don't mention this topic or don't share these personal details with them because you just know that they're going to hurt you when you do that. So that's a that's on the distancing spectrum and it, it can make room for you to Hold what's true which is that you still value this person you don't want to send them off into space and never see them again but you also don't want to be hurt by them in the same way and so you're taking measures to protect yourself from that on the other side where the extreme would be work through anything no matter what the behavior it would be more like looking at the relationship and thinking is this person capable of working with me the way that I want? Is this person capable of making the changes that would make me comfortable? And if the answer is yes, then moving into that and just speaking some kind of truth about how it was for you, how it is for you, and how it's going to need to be in the future if you are to continue relating. It's not the full extreme of just put up with it or work through it at all costs. It's, it's a managing that. It, it honors that you still want to be very close with this person and you have a deep desire to work through the conflict with them. But it also doesn't put you as, as, the, as powerless or as a person in the relationship that, that isn't valued as much. Right? You're putting out a boundary that says, I'm going to be treated this way and, and let's talk about it because I want you to be part of this picture with me. And are you interested in that? So I just wanted to invite you to see some of the gradations between the various um, different boundaries that we can set. Um, we tend to, especially when we're hurt and before we've done some of our own healing work, we tend toward one extreme or the other. So just an invitation for you to have a look at that and um, maybe see some options for you opening up for you and the situations and people in your life.